What's going on, everyone? Welcome to uh, Order of the Thorn. I want to say throne so badly. This is from the developers of Quest for Infamy, a game which I played on this channel recently, and everyone, the response to that game was very positive. Bit of a uh, homage to the Quest for Glory games of yore. Today we're playing Order of the Thorn, and uh, there's a longer title, but as I understand it, this is more in the vein of King's Quest, maybe an homage to that, but we play as a bard. That's pretty much all I know about it. I'm very excited given how much I loved Quest for Infamy. So let's do it. From Infamous Quests. There you go. Love that uh, retro VHS-like intro there. Order of the Thorn, The King's Challenge. Every time I read that, I'm like, man, how do they put a typo in the title of the game? But no, Order of the Thorn somehow. And there we are, presumably, a bard with our our instrument, our loot. Let's uh, run the intro, find out what the heck is going on in this game. Yes. Long ago, in the time before time began, the great realm of Yuir prospered under the guardianship of the benevolent Order of Knights, who protected and guided the people of its many kingdoms. All right, I'm on board. These knights were known as the Order of the Thorn. Okay, so that's where that comes from. The price of peace is not so easily won. For where there is good, evil is not far behind. Ooh, was not expecting drums. <laughs> I don't know why. These are the stories of the Knights of the Order of the Thorn and their many adventures, because we apparently didn't record that These line. These are the stories oh, okay. of the Knights of the Order of the Thorn and their many adventures. Excuse me. Yes! Oh, where's my glow stick? Justice a little bit. The King's Challenge. This could almost be a Space Quest game. This is trippy. I like it. That's very Space Questy, the, the score right there. But then we have those sweet licks. Recognize some of these names? From Quest for Infamy. In a world. Sean Mills, there you go. And as I understand it, um, they're working on a sequel to this game at the time of this recording and a prequel to Quest for Infamy. So a couple good games on the horizon to look forward to. But there we are busking. Come on, man, drop a gold coin. Silver. Oh, there, young Bart. It's quite a tune you're playing. What? Thank you, sir. It was written by my father. I keep all of his songs in my book of songs. Oh, you play very well. What brings you to this crossroads, though? I am on my way to the Fairy Kingdom to accept the King's Challenge. Whoa, that's quite the undertaking, lad. Oh, shouldn't she just be I like... know. It's not for the foolhardy, but I truly wish to participate. <laughs> of course, lad. King Kellern's yearly challenge is a renowned contest of cunning and bravery. One never knows what the Fairy King has in mind for his challengers from year to year, but... It is always a true contest of honor. The truth Hopefully is, it'll be like... I need inspiration. You see, I want to compose the greatest ballad ever written. The King's Challenge would make a very fitting event to compose a song about, indeed. Searing it for all I the wrong reasons. To be a brave, good bard like my father. Now is my chance. Who was your father? His name was Donald Galway. He was a bard, but also served in... Hold on. Uh, I had tickets to him and... He served the Order of the Thorn oh. well. I heard him sing once in Glen Morgana. His voice inspired the weary when we thought we couldn't go on. Thank you, sir. You see, I want to honor his legacy and sacrifice. Aye, I believe you will, son. Well, good luck to you, uh... Finn. I am Finn the Bard. Is that well us? Finn. Well, I am off to pursue the duties of my cloak. Peace be with you, Finn. You too, brother... Oh, I just dressed this way. My name is Brother Owen. It was a pleasure to meet you. You as well, Ewan. 
Spelled coin, but with an E. It's very confusing. I was gonna make a joke. I had tickets to see your father in, but then I remember it was the time before time, and how do you make that joke? Oh well. Here we are in Cran now. The day Jeez. of the challenge had arrived. Oh god. I feel like this is all music that could be playing in that futuristic part of Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Throngs of people came from all over Cran Naoim, the home of the Fairy Court, to discover what this year's challenge would be. Alright, what are we getting ourselves into, the Finn? The challengers all assembled in the throne room of the Fairy Court to hear what King Quilhern had to say. Do you mean Thorn Room? Oh my god. That's a sweet looking little kingdom right there, though, under the umbrella tree. Welcome, challengers. I am pleased to see so many of you come forth. That's Graham Once if he eats every two years, magic fruits. I wish you a call for the best and brightest of my subjects. Today, the seven of you have answered, and I am honored by your presence in my court. Seven this of year, us. This year, I have created a challenge that, while quite simple in concept, should prove to be most taxing and adventurous for you. My wife, your queen, has volunteered to be hidden somewhere in this land. Until a champion can find him. Yeah. Volunteered in, in quotes. The boundaries of our lands. From the path exiting the realm to the east, to the edge of the spider forest to the west. All spider forest. In these vast and varied locales, she could be hidden anywhere. The prize for finding the queen is the same as it ever was. The champion will win the right to one wish from your king. Whatever is within nice. my power to grant. And the title of Champion of the Fairy Realm. Hope it's a lucrative recording contract. Easy, but I have faith that one of you seven brave challengers will find her. Now, if you please, let us make introductions. Yeah. Tell me of yourself. I wish to know Let's something. Let's check out the competition. Your Majesty, I am Gowan, Knight right. of the Kingdom of Stoneland. All right, Gowan. I am the bravest and most hey. knight in my kingdom, and I have come to win this challenge, as is my destiny. It's intense. He's Welcome magnum opus. Sir Gowan. Oh, yes, absolutely, Majesty. They called me Chaka, and I'm from the fairy realm myself, and well... I just thought it might be fun. <laughs> I've always wanted to That's Paul from the Wonder Years all Welcome, grown up. Chaka. Pleased to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm Snowy, and this is my friend Red. We have dedicated our lives to helping other people, so finding the Queen would be the ideal It's cheating. You can't bring a friend. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. All right. It would be amazing and fantastic. All right, you can bring her. That's it's a fine. pleasure to have such fine ladies in this year's challenge. Welcome. King's like, maybe we don't find I'm my way. Your Majesty. Friend of the fairy realm and adventurer, I've heard of your exploits, friend Fallon. You must tell me one day about your legendary defeat of the evil Lord Sinister. Ooh. It is a story that I'd very much like to hear from you. Maybe in the privacy of my quarters. Tell the tale, your majesty. <laughs> Although I must admit the versions of it I have heard told in taverns since have been somewhat exaggerated. Sir. Boo, we don't want to hear sure. that. Tales are always better when they are true. Welcome to the challenge, Fallon. I am Abaddon, High Priest of the Kingdom of Rosette. That guy's not gonna win. I was sent by your brother, the King of Rosette, to participate in this It's nepotism, I don't like that. My brother always sends his best. I am sure you are most welcome here. I shall be the one to find your Queen, Majesty, have no doubt. Those ears look fake. The that There's no way that guy's winning. Way, Abaddon. It is perhaps a fatal flaw in some. Nonetheless, I wish you my best. Hello, yeah. Your Majesty. What game my they're game playing where that guy wins. And I only just arrived in this land. I am a bard, but I travel and play songs for my lodgings and food. Hello, Finn. A bard is always welcome in my realm. Although I must say, most minstrels are better dressed. Oh! I apologize for my attire, Your Majesty. I was waylaid on my journey by bandits, and I was only left with my traveling clothes. Excuses. Your attire isn't important, young bard. Only your heart and spirit. I look forward to hearing you play once the challenge is over. Perhaps in now, my private I wish quarters. To you all challenges. Before you leave, I shall offer you each a royal Ooh. gold coin. 
This coin is your proof that you are a participant in the king's challenge. Going straight to the pawn shop and hawking that thing. you you with honor and allow you access to places Screw in my kingdom the challenge. That are difficult to reach. But you will also be required to present it to the guards to re-enter the village of Cran Naom. Now, to my brave and bright seven, let the challenge begin. All right. Well, the game begins. Time to find the queen. But those two ladies are working together. How does that count? But that's not fair. So they like, if they win, they both get to share the prize. That's not fair. I'm here alone. Yeah, give me the tutorial. To solve this game, you'll need to explore the fairy kingdom. Ooh. Talking to the people and learning as much as you can about the queen. <laughs> it's gonna be like, guess who? Does she wear a hat? Yes! Flip down the other tiles until we can find her. It's normal in this game to gather an eclectic collection of items in your inventory. Oh, thank God. Try using your inventory in unique ways on people, objects, or other items. There is always a solution to any given puzzle, and there are no situations where you can get into an unwinnable position. Thank goodness. As you move your mouse around the screen, Points of interest will be identified and their name will be displayed near the bottom of the screen. That's a nice detail. Left clicking the mouse will interact with those points. Otherwise, it will move Finn to the location clicked. Right clicking the mouse will look at a point of interest and give a description. It's a great system. I love it. Moving the mouse to the top of the screen will activate the inventory window and will also allow you to access the control panel and the loot panel. It will also break the fourth wall and remind you you are playing a video game and are not truly yourself in the bard. I know that. All right, I guess that's what we got, right? Can I save even though they just said it's pointless? Whoa, why is the music so low? I guess I'll trust that it's... I don't know that it should be... I definitely want to prioritize the voices. It's my favorite aspect Please of everything. enter a longer name. <laughs> How about Finn? Of every game ever. Sweet! Uh... Oh, there's, uh, Paul from the Wonder Years, all grown up and in fairy Hello form. Hello there. How is your search for the Queen going? Oh, that! No, I gave up already. It seemed like a lot of walking, <laughs> and I'm more content to just stay in town here. What's the so, new record? Well, okay then. Well, have fun. Oh, I am! Dropping pebbles into the fountain is very relaxing. Take care, Chucker. Time to you, Mr. Bard. He seems so bright on the Wonder Years. Chucked it in, achievement. Okay. It's one of your competitors in the challenge. Not anymore, apparently. He appears to be dropping pebbles into the fountain. I was about to do, like, the Quest of Glory 5. Who's going to be the first to drop, or be murdered, rather, in the competition? Who's going to be the Kokino Pukamiso of this competition? But this guy just quit. Like 10 seconds in. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It seems like a lot of walking. Can I just go back in? You can tell this is from the uh, infamous developer people, considering, like, the music. It has vibes of uh, Quest for Infamy. I like everyone kind of fidgets a little bit. That's more realistic than just standing still. Can I talk to you people? Trying to touch the guard would not be a wise course of action. Touch, talk, whatever. I want to see the king try and stop me. I felt something earlier, your majesty. <laughs> Let's talk there about that. There is light surrounding the king. Yeah, there is. I would be careful if I were you. If you disturb the light, the tree shall feed upon your energy as well. The I was joking before, but is he coming energy. on to me? Yes, dear boy. The life of this village and tree are bound to me as long as I sit on the throne. Uh, pardon me, sire. I'm not from around here. <laughs> I've only recently come to your fine land. Your rules are crazy. The fairy realm and the king's He's like, are those butterfly wings coming out of your back? Which in turn renews its power through this throne. I don't mean to pry, majesty, but does it hurt? I think I need no, to turn majesty. the music down even more. It is a burden I gladly bear. Thank you very much, sire. No problem, dear boy. No now, problem. What can I help you with? What kings can... Hold on, I need to, like, adjust this boy. I should return to my search for... Goodbye, dear Finn. I don't think King Graham ever said, No problem! <laughs> Ain't no thing. Huh. 
I don't know. I don't think that's like evenly. I don't know. Let's put that like there. Ish. And I'll we'll have to wait on the sound effects. How can I help you, Finn? First name basis now. How are you, Your Majesty? I am well, and eager to see how this year's challenge will proceed. You all seem like a clever bunch. Especially those two young ladies. Your Majesty? Tell me about Cranaeon. Our fair village is the jewel of the fairy realm. All life in this land springs from this great tree. And I'm proud of our inhabitants. They are all good and Sounded decent like he people. Hesitated when you said that. freely of themselves to those worthy enough to receive it. I, I'm begrudgingly proud of all of its inhabitants. What can you tell me about the King's Challenge? This is an ancient tradition, started by my father's 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 father. While we fairies Sir. live in peace, we realize the importance of vigilance, and we wanted to always encourage heroes to rise and serve not only the people of the fairy realm, but all of Oil. Many of these heroes have preserved the peace that was hard won by the Order of the Fawn many, many years ago. We had Tyr in Quest for Infamy, now we have Eeyore. What can you tell me about the forest? Our forest is lot of trees, boy. and filled with wonder. You won't find much danger in it, but you may discover several tricky situations, or people. Probably a maze or two, I'm guessing. What can you tell me about the swamp? The swamp is dangerous, however. It is filled with many fierce animals who call it home. They are not evil by design, but merely animals protecting their home. That's fair. His beard looks really fake. I don't know. It's it's very wide. His beard. Is what can everybody you tell else? Me about the, the ancient order of the fawn is one of the most important groups. Or maybe his hair. They, they don't oil. match. Maybe that's what not it is. One of those is fake. Of the order who patrol the lands to meet out justice and right. There are many others. The order has monasteries in almost every major city in Oya. We have one here, in fact. Brother Kunjan lives and runs the monastery in the east part of town. I just love that the queen is hiding somewhere. <laughs> She's just like crouched underneath a stairwell somewhere. Shh. Wait, don't tell any of the, uh, the, the heroes, the knights, where what I am. What can you tell me about the queen? Ah, my queen. She is as beautiful as she is wise and clever. She loves this challenge as much as I. In fact, she jumped at the chance to be a part of it this year. Something's going on with that. I don't know. They just needed some time apart. I should return to my search for the Queen, Majesty. Farewell. Any clues? Goodbye, dear Finn. May you have great luck in your quest. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Not my sire, but still. You don't have any desire to fight the guards. Left click on the king, talk to him. Left click on a guard. To the death. All right. Well, I feel like we uh, are one up on everybody else. We put in a little one-on-one -on -one time with the king. What else can we do? Can we play? Oh, that's that's that. Oh, Welcome that's. Welcome to your okay. songbook. Oh, nice. Here you'll find all the songs you know as well as your loot. This is kind of nice because we're playing this this game alongside. We're playing. Um, uh, Legend of Zelda, the uh, Majora's Mask. So we use Ocarina a lot in that, and we have songs that we know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just, you to know, music. To use the loot in hard mode, music. you start by pressing the button which hard notes mode. the song you wish Finn to play. I think we need that. Pay close attention to the notes which are played, and then replicate them by pressing those strings in the same order. Mm. If you use the loot in easy mode, Simply press I the will song think button less to ensure you. Finn always plays the song correctly. Okay. The song button. Have fun. Ooh. Loot hard. <laughs> is that like my way of tapping out or is that accessing hard mode? Is that like me saying loot too hard? The song is a tavern favorite. And you know it's so well you can play it blindfold unless you click on loot hard. It's such an upbeat and happy song. Was it though? I kind of get uh, Mario Paint vibes a little bit, like when you're doing the composing and that. That wasn't right. I'm trying to make my own song, narrator. All right, so we have the happy song, Blessings of Mead. I feel like you could play both those in a tavern, and uh, no one would bat an eye. Shield of Kosiant. Complicated protection song. 
Ooh, that is complicated. I could see how hard mode would not be for me. That's... Not only do you have to, like, deal with four different colors, but four different <laughs> columns <laughs> to loot hard. All right. That one was for free, Chucker. Next time. You know what? Just give me your gold coin, man. You're not. You already forfeited. Just hand it over to me. I still have a chance. <laughs> Toro hurts. This is fine. I feel like we're climbing the great tree of Tarna right now. House Tavern. Yes, please. Let's play our songs. You enter the tavern. Play our happy song and the song of Mead for my soon-to-be new friend. There's no one in here. Here's the stage. Just... Just go right into it, unprovoked. My name's Finn. And this song always makes me smile. And no one cares. <laughs> All right. Well, hello, Elka. Hello there. Welcome to my tavern. I'm Elka, and I'm the publican of the Woodland Tavern. And I'm always pleased publican. to have a bard grace my establishment. Thanks, Thank Elka. I'm Finn, and I'm here to participate in the King's Challenge. Well, the Queen's not here, unfortunately. But you are most welcome to rest here if you wish. Thanks. No offense to Elka, but I kind of miss Kit. She was, uh, yeah, she, yeah. She was Kit. If you saw my Quest for Infamy playthrough, which I'm sure will have a link in the description of this video, check it out. And, uh, check Kit out, I guess. <laughs> Kit's lovely. What can you tell me about the Fairy Realm? Oh, the Fairy Realm is a magical and amazing place. Besides the town, there's a lot Soids. of magical and beautiful places to visit. To the west lies the border with the Kingdom of Spiders. They might seem creepy, Ooh. but they're highly intelligent and social. Oh, we're going to play a show for spiders. Just outside the swamp, you can find Ted and the old turtle. They're fishing buddies. Be brave. Go exploring. You'll see what we have to offer. Offer. Sounds like she's been getting into the mead. She's very positive. What can you tell me about this bar? the Woodlands Tavern. I've been here for over a hundred years now, and I don't think I'll be retiring anytime soon. Years. My daughter Orde and I live in a little house down below. Yeah, what can you tell me about your what daughter? What can you tell me about your daughter? Orde is a joy. She's, She's probably the still moment, decades older than us. She's a painter, and makes her own paints and toys from flowers and other plants. She's been gone a few Joys. days now, but I'm sure she'll be back soon if you'd like to meet her. She loves wandering around the realm. I think it gives her inspiration for her paintings. Not that I don't worry, of course, but the fairy realm is very safe, and she's a capable woman. Oh, yes. I always enjoy spending time with other artists. They can tell me so many things. Well, she doesn't... And not with words. She was a little girl. She's sure like, what? Good friends. She loves music. I look forward to meeting her. All right. Can I play here? Yeah. Anytime. We don't deal with money in the fairy realm. But I can offer you it's communist food society. If you need it. Thank you. That's that's very kind. Don't mention it. My patrons would always love to hear a song. It's like a singular patron right now. Goodbye. Goodbye, Bard. It's not my name. Hello there. Oh, Hello, it's this Bard. guy. How is your search for the queen going? Well, I suppose it's just begun. Right Everyone's got their oh, own ear I game going had on. Much luck myself. I have it's because you're getting this drunk in the tavern ten seconds yet. after he sent us out. decided that instead out. of wandering to and fro, looking <laughs> everywhere in the fairy realm, I'll wait here and think about where the queen could be hidden. That's an Everyone's idea just super lazy. Oh, yes, the atmosphere of this little pub really helps me to clear my head and think clearly. You should join me. It might give you an idea of where to look next. As a bard, most of my time is spent composing or thinking. Indeed it is, indeed. I think I'm better off but while exploring drunk. and searching for the queen as opposed to sitting around. No Thank judgment. You for the offer, though. It is greatly appreciated. Think nothing of it. I'll be here for a while if you change your mind. Yeah, I believe you. I can have an ear off with Fallon. Fowlan. He's got the he's got the vertical game, but I've got the horizontal game. I've got the pointy game going as well. All right. Well, the the competition doesn't look too stiff right now. Whatever. What do we got here? 
This is the tavern owner's home. She lives here with her daughter. Okay. The door is locked. She's probably in the tavern. I like that we just automatically tried breaking in. Not breaking, but going in. What a fun place for a tavern. Up in a big old tree. Right. Should we drop our one and only coin in the fountain? <laughs> That doesn't seem to do anything. Did you try it? This fountain was commissioned by the queen many years ago. It's quite beautiful. Maybe she's hiding in it? No, I don't see her. All right. Let's go find her. You walk into the eastern part of Cran Naoim. <laughs> you can see an old monastery and a potion store here, amongst Ooh, many store. other homes and residences. What if they kickstarted this with like a million dollar goal and people paid it because of Quest for Infamy and everything? And then the queen was like on this screen and the credits just roll and that's the whole game. Fantastic. Let's check out the monastery. You enter the old and neglected monastery. Not neglected today, narrator. Monk. Greetings, young bard. I am Brother Kunshen. Welcome to our monastery. And what's left of it for certain. The pleasure is mine, sir. I don't suppose you have seen the queen. Ha! No, dear boy. You must be more clever than that for the king's challenge. This is not drinking or just hanging out next to a fountain. Task. Sometimes the answers are more simple than others make them out to be. Right you this are. Case. Well, I'm still working on repairs for this place. Take a look around. Have a rest if you need it. The Order of the Thorn serves all who would need its help. Yeah, what's the deal with this? And why do they pronounce throne, thorn? Tell me about the Order of the Thorn. Pronounce well, and spell. That is a long and involved story for sure. Well, my father was Denal of Galway. I was told he was a friend to the Order. Name drop. Indeed he was. Which means you must be Finn. Yes, yes I am. Your father was a great man. I spent much time with him in our battles against evil. He was not only the finest musician I ever knew, he could also turn a phrase like no one else. Hell the yeah. stories he wove in his songs are those of legend. We all certainly miss him. None more than I. I am not sure a challenge, of that, Finn. my son. Yeah, most bards, yeah, sure they can sing, but my dad could write mean lyric. Tell you that right now. I love that. Just the most generic. Our fight against evil. <laughs> Don't be more specific Tell me about than that. Kanaoim. The fairy kingdom and its fairest city are a wonderful place. I've only come to live here recently, but in the past few months, I've come to love the land and its people. Okay. Goodbye. Best to you, Thin the Bard. The Order is always here for you. Okay. Can I take anything? You aren't a religious person yourself. You don't feel the need to pray or meditate. Your music is enough for you. Hell yeah. Alright. Let's do some more exploring. Let's check out the potion shop. Is everything free? Or just in exchange for a... Uh... Maybe I can play Hello, a little lick. Welcome to my potion shop. All right. Please let me know if I can help. Hey, uh, Glenda, what's what's going on? Hello, shopkeeper. I'm Finn the Bard. Welcome to my shop, good bard. Unfortunately, I don't have anything she looks to play like... with you right now. I'm in the middle of trying to make some new potions. That's okay. I'm actually looking for the queen. I'm taking part in the king's challenge. Oh, that's terribly exciting. It is. <laughs> How can I help you? She looks like the daughter of the uh, innkeeper in Quest for Infamy, and he always threatened to like kill us if we took her out on a date. <laughs> yeah. What can you tell me about potions? Potions are wonderful things. They can heal the sick, help the wounded, even give people inspirations when they're feeling down. What can you tell me about a restore potion? Well, I don't have any of my own made right now. I'm all out of Yuli juice, which is the main component. I'd also need a large piece of fruit. And then I have to take the potion to some of the magic crystals that grow in this valley. Sounds like a whole thing. What can you tell me about crystals? They hum with the power of the earth. 
which gives the potions their full potency. I can give you the potion, but you have to make sure to set it amongst the crystals. You'll know by the reaction if the potion is at full potency and ready to be used. Okay. How about the queen? Is she, perchance, behind your counter? What can you tell me about the queen? The queen is truly the king's match, equal in muse. She is clever and cunning, and definitely helped him plan this year's challenge. Everyone's going along with that story. I don't know. I feel like it's a bad situation, and she just got herself out of it. And to try to, like, save face, the king was like, Oh, she's hiding. Find her and bring her back to me. What can you tell me about Grand Naoim? The city is my home, and I love it so. But it is lonely for me here, for no one to call my own. I mean... Really, Finn? There should definitely be a fourth option of being like, So I'm a musician. <laughs> Come on, Finn. I was just starting to like you. Goodbye. Farewell, Finn the Bard. Goodbye. Best of luck on your quest. Disappointing. Anyway, can I take your stuff? You thumb through the book a bit, but it's all about potions and their creation. You don't understand most of it. Yeah, we're a musician. You're an honest fellow if there ever was one. There's no need to take anything of Glenda's without asking. I tried going to the uh, tavern owner's shop. Or her house. That's fine. You can't just go barging into these homes. <laughs> We're trying. The queen isn't going to go hiding in someone's home. <laughs> now I feel like she's definitely hiding in someone's home. Alright. What else we got? You gonna spend the whole game there, Chucker? Bless you. Again, I don't know that I need to like keep There's saving. No but whatever. You don't need the lamp. First give me the lamp. You are in the west part of Cran Naoim, the fairy Naoim. village. Citizens walk about, happy and content with their lives in this beautiful town. You note the library to the north, and the general store to the west. I hope they have the ambient sounds in the library. Let's check out the general store first. Oh, yeah, there's a couple people. I got their wings. That's fun. Ah, Genesta customer. style. Welcome to my humble store, Bard. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Poor guy Come doesn't. In, lad. Take a look around. How many times are you gonna greet me? Poor guy doesn't have a picture. Everybody else has a Good picture. Good day to you, shopkeeper. I'm Finn, the Bard. Good day to you, young Finn. Aww. My name is Stefan. Poor this Stefan. I suppose you're here partaking in the king's challenge. I am. Did the loot I'm give not it away? The queen right now. You don't happen to know where she is, do you? <laughs> no, sorry, lad. I don't. That would be quite an easy challenge, wouldn't it? Just ask the local shopkeeper where the queen is hidden. <laughs> Still, here's some advice. Not everything is as it seems. Thanks. It was always worth asking. By the way... The only silly question is the one not asked. This guy's... Look around the shop, and if you see anything you need, please let me know. Most of my items are made to order. But there are a few things around that I could trade with you for. Trade? I, uh, I don't understand. Here in the fairy realm, wink, we wink. trade our goods and services for things we need. We found it a fair system of commerce. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you, Stefan. I need some company, young bard. No, I'm sorry. Uh, that voice of this shopkeeper, he is definitely in Quest for Infamy, and he was one of the main characters. He might have been the narrator, but, like, with the different... Might have been Rome with the different uh, sh on the voice, but definitely, tell me more about definitely yourself. in that game. I do love me some chicken soup for lunch. Not really, would I? Is he gonna say the same thing? Tell me more. About I do love me some chicken soup for lunch. That's the one thing you ought to know about me. I like my chicken soup. Tell me more of Cran Naoim. It's an amazing city, full of peaceful and loving folk. You should visit the librarian. He's got all sorts of helpful information. I'm sure Elka in the tavern would love to hear you play. I offer. Linda runs a potion shop on the other side of town, and boy, is she pretty. Yeah. All well, the young fellas fancy her. I asked her up, but she said, "Not until you get a face." Tell me more about the fairy realm. The realm is peaceful. Poor shopkeeper. All kinds of folk. Not only do fairies live here, but also some humans and gnomes too. Ooh. We're quite racist to them, Finn. Tell me about the king's challenge. Oh, it's amazing. 
One year, King Quillen created this challenge where the participants had to slay a dragon. Ooh. Turns Thanks. out the dragon was only an illusion. Oh. The winner won because he found out and used his cunning to stop the illusion. Huh. I always wondered what happened to old Andrew of Branscom. He's a clever fellow. Buy that game in your local. Yeah, thank goodness we're now. We just have to find the queen. Seems like rather easy we got off this year with this year's challenge. Goodbye. You have a great day, Finn. I've got some housekeeping to do, bud. Tell me if anything catches your eye. I don't know, something tells me they're just going to accuse me of stealing if I try to pick anything. Ooh, armor. I could use that on my quest. But where would you keep your loot if you wore the armor? That is... Yeah, that's the real problem with being a musician. Uh, that poor armor. Once belonged to a fellow who I know firsthand. a monstrous pit. He never got out alive, despite all the rumors and stories people have told. Hmm. Wait. Okay. You don't require any. So we're definitely gonna need that suit of armor at some. Ooh, weapons. You're a lover, not a fighter. Boo. All right. No dragon though, so that's fair. That didn't accomplish. Just trying to look at these the three portraits are of the shopkeeper's family. There's the shopkeeper's wife and his two children, George and Gracie. Curiously, none of the portraits feature faces. He's a plump-looking fairy, well-rounded in the midsection. He seems like a jolly guy, though. Though? He does remind you of someone you've met before, though. Strange. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just have to use my imagination. Oh, chicken soup! Oh, he did. I was like, I that soup. <laughs> who do I remember oh, no, that likes chicken lunch. soup? It's this well, guy. you want it? It just looks really delicious. <laughs> I'd love to drink it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rather looking forward to it myself. I mean, if you needed it, we could make a deal. But right now, I'm gonna eat it later. Oh, I don't need it. It just smelled so good. Mmm, chicken soup. Chicken soup is really tasty. The working title for this game for a while. Let's talk more about the chicken soup. It's a cup of chicken soup. You have... No appreciation for chicken soup, narrator. Could I have that soup? Oh no, that's didn't oh, change your chicken. mind yet. That didn't accomp the large wooden counter gives the shopkeep a private Alright. I'll be back for that armor, maybe. So same people. You don't have time to engage in idle chit chat. Maybe that is the queen. This fairy is going about his daily business. Uh, I've never met him before. How do we know that's what he does on a day-to-day -day basis? Should have looked at the bird. Yeah, give me some ambient library sounds like they had in Quest for Infamy. <laughs> Someone coughing and going, shh, excuse me, sorry. Hello there, library. Made me laugh. Ah, another challenger. Good, good. Can you help me locate the queen at all? Sorry, I can't. I can assist you if you come across something you've not seen before. There's sure to be a book in here about it, but otherwise you're on your own. Well, that's good to know. I can get help if I need it. I can tell you that you might want to have a look at some of the books in here. There's an open book on the desk upstairs, The Book of the Fairies, which will tell you more about the realm if you Maybe need about it. the queen. Thank you very much. I certainly appreciate it. Who are you? And I'm Elder, who are the you? librarian. That'd be a good final question, actually. Library. Just to sum up, who are you? What's with all the books laying around? <laughs> library, oh, you idiot. There's so many books in here that I don't have room for them all. You said it like you didn't I'm trust it. I've been in the years now, Love too, that. and lugging them up and down the stairs really hurts my back. Not many people are interested in learning history nowadays. The only regular clients I get are the occasional monk or knight of the Order of the Thorn. Is there anything that might help in my quest to find the queen? Oh, I'm Maybe a sure picture? there is, but you'll need to be more specific if I'm to be able to direct you to the right place. A picture. As I said before, there's a book upstairs that may be of assistance, but otherwise you're going to need to know what to ask me about if I'm to be able to help you. It's like a very rudimentary AI. What can you tell me about Cranaoi? Oh, this is a marvelous and magical place. The center of the fairy realm itself. I feel blessed every day that I live is here. Geographically? We even have a monastery of the Order I... of the Thorn in town. There is also a beautiful monument to the fairy people on the Isle of the Honored. I think the, the 
The tree stump would be the center of the town. I'm not calling you a liar, but... What can you tell me about the Order of the Thorn? The Order of the Thorn is a Town's venerable a tree, right? order of knights and monks who have pledged their lives to be an active force of good in this world. So, they're a religious order? Yes, they serve a deity known as the Unknown God. The Unknown God? If he's unknown, how do they know how to serve him? Ooh, Finn asking question. the big question. You could probably ask the monk at the monastery. I think their unknown god isn't a specific deity as such, but instead is a placeholder for other gods whose names and nature aren't known. That's only my personal theory, though, and it's probably best not to repeat this to a member of the Order. Of course, most people just see the Order as benevolent knights and monks who help others. Thanks. That's really very interesting. They live by a very I... strict and time-honored code of conduct as well. That was my way of getting out of this conversation. Too. Uh, but fine. What can you tell me about the monk? A brother Kunchen arrived in the village a month or so ago, and he's been busy repairing the monastery since. Well, the no, place had been abandoned for the last few years since Brother Choden passed away. Choden? Bless his memory. I don't know much about Brother Kunchen from before he arrived. You'd best ask him yourself. Kunchen and Choden. Uh, those names are... Do All you right. know the Order's uh, Code of Conduct? Indeed I do. Here it is. To protect the weak and defenseless. To Us. give help or assistance, especially in times of difficulty, to anyone who requires... Us. To despise monetary reward, Ew. to fight for the welfare well, okay, of yeah. all, to obey right. those placed in authority, to persevere to the end in any enterprise begun, to never refuse a challenge from an equal. To leave 20% or more at a TGI. Oh, tell me tell about, the about the honor. The, the, the Isle is a sacred place for the fairy realm. It is a cemetery for those who have died defending the realm against its enemies. What enemies are there? If you get there? the chance, you should Spiders? certainly visit there. The last time the we had things there, evil. it was when Lord Sinister attempted a war. Oh, Lord Sinister. And that other guy? The guy that's getting drunk in the tavern right now and can't be bothered to even look for the queen. There's something going on there. I call... What can you tell me of Lord Sinister? Yes. Now there's a name that conjures up images of the past. He was a date. powerful warlord, and rumored to be a great warlock as well. He sought to control all the land under his direct order. When he was alive, it was the last time the realm was involved in war. It was said he was killed by a fairy warrior named Fairlon, who I believe is yeah, participating he, in this year's he challenge He can't even be you. bothered to leave the tavern. He's just getting plastered in there. And he's like, oh, maybe the answer will come to me, Glug. Okay, man. Goodbye, Librarian. Thank you for your assistance. No problem, my boy. Knowledge is power. He definitely said Librarian, but that's fine. All right, let's go upstairs and find this Facebook of the realm, hopefully, so we can get a good picture of the queen. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.